Okay friends, tonight I am gonna be drinking one of the world's most expensive bottles of water and also checking in to Disney's Grand Floridian. Let's go do this. The reason I actually came to the Grand Floridian to drink this water is because I first heard of it from Victoria and Albert's menu. I seen on there one time they had $120 water sampling and I needed to investigate. If you're not familiar with Victoria and Albert's, it's one of the highest ranked restaurants in Florida and the highest ranked restaurant in Walt Disney World. And like I said, they actually offered a sampling of this for $120. And since it's not open at the moment, I needed to find my own way of getting it. And that's exactly what I did. And here it is, the Swabati Polar Iceberg Water. The taste of snow in the air. It has come all the way from the North Pole. I am so excited. This bottle can go for upwards of $150. And I actually reached out to the makers and let them know that I am a big fan and I've been trying to do a review on it and they graciously sent me a bottle so that I can show you and I'm gonna put their information in the description below and you can buy this for probably half of the cost of what you would in a restaurant or you know what I mean a fancy establishment as an added bonus I figured since I'm trying one of the world's most expensive waters I might as well give you a tour of one of Walt Disney World Resort's most expensive rooms right here in the Grand Floridian we're gonna give you a walking tour through it and I'm just excited I feel like they go hand in hand pretty fancy the water actually gets shipped to you in this very fancy canister and it has all the different sayings on it but what I like the most is the taste of snow in the air I can't wait to actually try this and picture the taste of snow in the air Look at all of the information they put on the back of the bottle here. Like they give you coordinates and they just give you a little bit of a rundown. Now this is upwards of 4,000 years old and it comes from, like I said, the oldest glaciers and icebergs in the world. I am, I don't know how to comprehend what I'm about to experience. <laughs> The pronunciation of the actual water was a little hard to get down, but they actually break it down for you on the back. So it's Sva, Sva, Bar, T. Sva, Bar, T. Sva, Bar, T. I like it. <laughs> On the bottle itself, they give you a little bit more information. And I also noticed that it's actually got its own tag and it's individually numbered. This is so fancy. I don't know how to even open it, but I'm excited. And I came to the Enchanted Rose because I did not have a fancy glass to drink it out of. And they actually supplied me with one of their fanciest wine glasses. So thank you, Enchanted Rose. They suggest you drink this water at about 12 degrees Celsius and to actually watch a very small clip of how they actually obtain the icebergs to make this water because it kind of enhances your experience. Like I'm sure I'm gonna actually be picturing it as I'm sipping it. And I will either put the link for that video in the description or I will just play it right after this. So let's, uh, let's have a taste. Here we go, the first sip. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, they're also playing uh, The Little Mermaid on the piano. Thank you, Wes. It has such a unique taste. Wow. I can tell you now, I have never been one to kind of pick a fancier water. You know, when I go to the store, uh, I would just get the cheap bottles of water. I would drink tap water, but there was something about this water. The second I actually swallowed it, I had like this euphoria and it did. It, I don't know why, but it felt like it, it's an amazing experience. That's all I got to say. I am beyond blown away. It really does feel like a waterfall 
like in your throat. I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, two glasses, two glasses. Holy moly. <laughs> And what a great view to enjoy my fancy water with my fancy glass right here in the Grand Floridian. I wish I was at Victoria and Albert's. I will eat there once it does open again. I don't know if I'd get the water sampling now because I've had a way better experience with this. So, yeah, I'm loving it right now. And like I said before, I plan on showing you one of the most expensive rooms at Walt Disney World Resort right here in the Grand Floridian. And this room is very, very fancy. I mean, the room I'm staying in is also very fancy. I'll show you that room as well. But this one, oh boy. Oh. And I think I'm going to save the rest of the water. I had two glasses full and it was amazing. It's so strange because it tasted cold but it's not cold. Like they said, it's best to enjoy it at, you know, 12 degrees Celsius. So it, it still had a cold taste and it just like literally felt like a waterfall running down my throat. That is the only way I can explain it. Absolutely worth, you know, it's not something I would drink every single day, but if you wanna do something fun and exciting, get yourself a bottle, you know, just give it a go. And for now, I think we will continue our luxurious adventure. We are going to go check out that very expensive room that I was talking about. I'll show you guys the room that I'm staying in and just basically give you a quick tour around the Grand Floridian. We're actually going to go down a floor to the main lobby and then walk over to the villas section. But before that, I think we might take a pit stop and check out Wes. Sounds like he's playing some of the classics on the piano over there. The Grand Floridian is such an amazing resort and I'm so honored to actually be staying here, especially during the holidays. It's just so beautiful. I think I'm gonna go show you the Grand Villa here at the Grand Floridian. It is a three bedroom resort room and it is absolutely amazing. I can't wait to show you guys this one. The room itself is in the Disney Vacation Villa building and it's going for around 160 points a night for this week. So if you were to rent those points, uh, they'd probably go for about $20 a point. You're looking around $3,000 a night. It is a three bedroom though, so it definitely sleeps in a large amount of guests and I bet you it's very luxurious. And here we are. This is kind of like the foyer. Look at this. Have you ever seen something like this as the entrance to your room? Absolutely mind blowing. Wait till you see the living room, dining room. This is crazy. Three bedrooms, like I said. This is at, it's, it's huge. I don't even know what to say. So I guess we'll go on this side first. They have a media room over here and then one bedroom. So this is the media room right here. Kind of like a second living room with a TV. And then right through these double doors is one of the bedrooms. Holy moly. This is absolutely amazing. Wow. Look at the Mary Poppins picture over there. Oh my Lord. The master bedroom has a master bathroom. This is crazy. You know, you gotta have the TV in the mirror there. I'm gonna try to turn it on. Isn't that crazy? Look at this tub. And then take a look at the separate bathroom area. And then they have a stand-up shower. This is crazy. This is just one side of the room. I kind of just need to process things for a little bit before we move on. Because I'm like shocked. I'm like, wow. This is unbelievable. 
we'll definitely check out the balconies and the view but i think we need to move along because like i said this is three bedrooms this is one side of the room look at this it's like we're living in, in an apartment here absolutely mind-blowing we might as well just go right on over to the other bedrooms craziness two beds are you serious this is amazing look at the headboards I don't know what else to say and then you have a bathroom right on the other side that one has a TV in the mirror as well another beautiful tub Wow and then we're gonna come over here so is this like another master bedroom you have two doors what so I, I don't know I, I don't think this is like a master master bedroom but this one has two beds too Wow that is crazy I have never seen a resort room this big before like this is from one end all the way <laughs> to the other end absolutely mind-blowing and then look at the kitchen you have a beautiful like fridge not fully stocked oh that's pretty i like that a lot this is really cool i like this a lot here this is like top notch right here if you came here with a family and stayed here for a week i would never want to leave never leave we'll go out one side of the balcony here look at this so i didn't know that the balconies were actually like separated so you do get a wonderful firework view and these go all the way up six floors worth but you can come this way and straight across to another balcony and look at all of that furniture like look at this so classy and elegant it's like you got the lobby in your living room i love it and then you got the pool right there it's just absolutely beautiful isn't it it just blows my mind though right guys what an amazing amazing room I feel like this is kind of entertainment on its own. If you ever want to check out these rooms, you can just show up and they have the doors open and they're open houses and you can just explore. How cool is that? You can look it up. I'll put a little link in the description so you can check it out too. But it's just such a fun thing to do. Go to all the resorts and check out their crazy, amazing, elegant rooms. And it doesn't cost a thing. Like as I'm walking by, right here is the two bedroom villa just walk in hey guys how's everyone doing you know just take a look around things i mean this is just a two bedroom but it's still very very nice and then yeah just about on my way to do my business so now i'm gonna actually go up a couple of levels and i'm gonna show you my room my room is a studio i don't need much just myself third floor and uh yeah i'll just give you a little room tour I have to say though, I absolutely love the carpeting over here and just everything about this little resort. Look, that's where we were standing. That's the uh, penguin fountain from Mary Poppins. And you just take a look all the way up. So beautiful, isn't it? This is my room right here. Oop, forgot to turn the lights on. This is the deluxe studio and I could take my mask off because this is actually my room. The three bedroom villa I had to walk around with my mask on because I was just touring it. But I absolutely love the studios here too. And I still get a TV in the mirror. Look at this. I love it. <laughs> Resorts, television, special events. You can fly, you can fly, you can fly. This is some fancy, fancy, fancy stuff right here. So, let's give you a little bit of a tour. We have the stand-up shower here, and then 
of course the TV in the bathroom and we can close the door and then right on the other side we have a tubby tub tub along with the toilet and then if you want some more privacy we can just close this door too look at that now it's like you got two bathrooms and then we come out here and we have the kitchen and they have a little mini fridge here sadly it is not stocked and then the main sleeping area so beautiful isn't it I love how they have the Mary Poppins art and the happiest millionaire it is so nice here I love the headboards the bed all the extra storage down here Ooh, and then this little bad boy right here look at this sweet dreams Dumbo and a little pull-out bed I like it a lot the balcony is also amazing too because it's a lake view. So I'm gonna give you a... Oh, oh, that was hard. Oh, I can see the ferry boats. That is such an amazing view. I love it so much. This is just a quick run through of the resort room. If you wanna see a full room tour, I can actually give you a link to a video I did when the parks first reopened. I came and stayed here at the Grand Floridian and it's the same style of room. I uh, just want a little more in detail. So I'll put that link in the comments or in the description and you can check it out. But I just wanna give you a brief overlook. We showed you two rooms and a lot of fancy stuff. Now I need to get something to eat. So I think I'll hop on over to the Grand Floridian Lobby and see about getting something to eat, either at the Grand Floridian Cafe, Narcoosies, or the Quick Service. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. I thought about going to Narcoosies or the Grand Floridian Cafe, but really wasn't in the mood for anything there. I am in the mood for a little bit of a sweet snack, and I know that Gasparilla has actually just started selling gingerbread cookies, and I think that's the same gingerbread they would use to make the gingerbread shingles that would normally be in the Grand Floridian. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the Grand Floridian, I mean Gasparilla's, and uh, probably get a flatbread and uh, gingerbread cookie. And I'm actually going to mobile order it. It looks like they have a Happy Holidays Grand Cake Pop. But this is what I was talking about right here. Where is it? Oh yeah, gingerbread Mickey ears and then a gingerbread man cookie. I think I'm going to get the gingerbread Mickey ears add and then the pepperoni flatbread. I thought I seen it on here. Oh, there it is. Bada bing. Very good, sir. And what a delight this is because as we sit and wait for our mobile order, we get to stare at Cinderella's castle with some beautiful Christmas music. Wow, this is really going to be something else. Now that I got my flatbread pizza, my Bud Light Lime, and my Mickey gingerbread ears, I think I'll find a nice little table and uh, sit down and enjoy. Flatbread is looking pretty good here. I don't think I've ever had their flatbreads, so I'm pretty excited to give it a go. Look at this. It does look good, right? And then here is my Mickey gingerbread. Look how fancy that looks. Oh wow, they even put a nice bow on it but we're gonna have to give this pizza a uh, proper rating. So one bite, everyone knows the rules, and uh, it's not bad. I'd give it a, a six, seven, yeah. Classic, you know, flatbread, quick service. Very good, better than the other ones I've had. Six, seven, I feel good about that. Now I think I'm gonna try my Mickey gingerbread. I'm very excited. This has white chocolate on the ears with probably sugar, but I bet you it's gonna be delicious. I love how in the back they actually give you a packaging on date. So 11:20. so this is only four days old. I'm going straight for the ears. Oh, you can see the white chocolate like big time on the back. Red or green, red or green, red, red. That is so good. So much better than just a plain old gingerbread boy. I like it a lot. I'll, maybe I have to try this side. I hate biting in things like awkwardly. Mm. But now look at it. It kind of looks so weird. That's why I don't like doing that, but no, nope, I gotta make it right. 
the flatbread was actually pretty decent and the gingerbread cookie I really really enjoyed but now I think I'm gonna head back up to my room and probably call it a night up there so I guess with that we're gonna call it a night I had so much fun today tomorrow is Thanksgiving isn't that crazy so tomorrow's Thanksgiving uh, I'm probably not gonna do a sunrise or anything like that I'm just gonna enjoy the room and probably get up and get myself ready for Thanksgiving dinner I'm not quite sure what I'm doing yet but I'll figure it out as it goes I hope you guys enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it thank you to Brianna Robert they're the ones that gave me the DVC points to stay here tonight and thank you to uh, Svabadia for their water and uh, that was such an amazing experience anywho I'm going to bed I'm done for the night so oh, we'll talk to you later Bye.